Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, first of all, let's create new solid layer. For background, right mouse, new and solid layer. Add the name, background, color black and click OK. Then go to FS Presets, search Effect Gradient Ramp and select this Gradient Ramp, let's use for this background and go to End Color like this blue and Start Color Dark Blue OK Also you can use this color code for your project this is Start Color and this is in color code okay so let's change ramp shape radial ramp and let's select this start color let's move to here and select end color let's move to right okay and change ramp scatter 100 for hide these lines let's change zero for see different Okay, and I want to fix this problem and solution change 100. Nice. So in this time, let's create new background again, solid layer, add the name grid. Click OK. Go to FS Presses, search effect grid. And let's use grid from generate. Okay, change size from width slider. And let's change slider width. Okay, and change opacity like this. Okay, not bad. So let's lock layers and go to shape layers, hold this icon, select ellipse tool and hold shift, make one ellipse. Clearization tool and let's open ellipse, open ellipse pet one, change size like this and let's enable title action save. Move to center. Okay, let's change again. Let's change 100. Okay, so let's go to fill. Select no for close inside color. Click OK. And for move to anchor point center, hold control and double click pen behind. Click station tool and change stroke width. Let's go to stroke color. Select white and change stroke width. 20 and let's open inside okay and open stroke one and go to add let's use trim pads and open trim pads one here and change end like this for make smooth end lines change bat cup to round cup from stroke one okay let's close stroke one and go to trim pads one change end like this, let's change zero and make end keyframe. Go to 10 keyframe. Let's click here, write plus 10 for go to 10 keyframe. Click OK and change end 100. Select keyframes. Let's make easy. OK and go to here. Let's go to three seconds and make start keyframe. Go to some keyframes change start 100 okay and let's change start 99 okay not bad and let's animation okay so let's close settings and select the shape layer go to first second let's press p make new passing keyframe and move it down go to 10 keyframe for shortcut, you can use hold shift press page down in keyboard and let's move it up. Go to 10 keyframe again, move it down. Again, go to 10 keyframe, move it up. And again, go to 10 keyframe, move it down. And again, move it up. And again, move it down. So, there's more keyframe for smooth and bones animation. Let's say keyframes make 
easy is or click F9. Let's see. Nice. So select shape layer. Let's press U for C all active shape frames and select these two end shape frames. Let's move to right and change last shape frame for slow animation. And let's move to left. Okay, let's move to right and go to one shape frame for back. Change end one. And move to left. Let's see. Okay, we can change like this. Nice. So, select shape frames, go to graph editor. Let's make smooth graph. Let's zoom to here. And let's make graph like this. Back to shape frames. Let's select two shape frames, move to left. Okay, that's good. And in this time, Let's go to here and go to pen tool. Let's make one shape layer like this. Clicization tool and go to again add, open trim pads one. Let's open here and let's move to right this layer and change end zero. Make end keyframe and go to 10 keyframe or 20 change 100 and let's open stroke one change bad cup to run cup okay let's select this and move to left a little bit also we can change 22 okay and let's move to right okay so let's see Okay, so select these two shape frames. Let's make easy ease. Go to graph editor and select this graph. Let's make graph like this. And select B for play this part. Okay, and select these shape frames. Let's press U, make easy ease. Go to graph editor and let's select graph. Let's make like this. Okay, back to chip frames. Let's move to right. Okay, let's go to graph editor again. Let's try this. Let's see. Okay, let's a little bit move to left. Okay, back to chip frames and select last chip frame, move to left. Let's see again. Okay, not bad. So, select this shape layer 2, go to pen tool and hold this last point, hold shift, move up. Let's see again. Nice. And select the shape layer 2, let's link to shape layer 1, select shape layer 1 and press P. Let's make new passing shape frame, go to here. Let's move to left and go to here, move to right. Let's see. Okay, select shape frames, go to graph editor and let's see graph. Let's select this, move to left and this, move to right. Nice. And select last shape frame, move to right. Okay, very nice. And in this time, let's go to here and open shape layer 2. Go to trim pads 1. And let's make start shape frame. Go to here. Change start 99. Okay, and let's see. Okay, and in this time, select the shape layer 1, go to edit, split layer and delete. Okay, very nice. So, select last shape frame, go to graph editor and let's make graph more smooth. 
Okay, select these three frames. Make easies. And go to graph editor, let's make smooth graph. Okay, we can also write this and this. Let's select this graph, move to left and this. Okay, nice. So, in this time, let's add here text, go to text and write motion, click tool, change font size. And let's move to center this text. Let's hold control, double click, palm behind. Let's select this text layer, go to window, open animation comes as 3, open starter preset, and text layers, animate characters, let's use overshot. Okay, let's click in. Let's see. Okay, let's move to like this. Okay, close animation comes to the window. Move to write this mark for slow animation. Let's see. Okay, very nice. So let's see full animation. Okay, that's good. Okay, after change font style, I was use dosis and let's select the shape layer two. Let's go to solo and let's control D and move to right. And in this time, let's cut layer. Let's see. And move to left. Press P, make new passing keyframe. Go to here and move to right. Let's see. Let's select this part. Select chip frames, make easies. And move to left. Okay. And let's control D for duplicate again. Move to right. Press P, go to last chip frame. Select last position chip frame and move to right here. Let's say again. Okay, not bad. Let's unsolo. Nice, let's move to left this. Okay, not bad. Let's move to left this. Okay, that's good. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck!